people walk above ground and they don't know what's under here. I hold a little secret that no one else might know about what's around that corner. It's just an amazing feeling when you can be the first person to see an area or a cave no one else has ever seen before. That's the most amazing secret you could ever have. Over the years, cave exploration has shed light on the mysteries of our planet's past. It continues to be a source of scientific inquiry and adventure. These subterranean environments provide a unique window into Earth's history and often reveal hidden treasures such as prehistoric fossils, ancient artifacts and geological wonders. In today's video, we'll explore 15 extraordinary cave discoveries that have shocked the world and altered our perspective on the past. Number 15. 175,000 stalagmite circles Neanderthals surprised researchers by constructing stone circles in the Brunekel cave approximately 175,000 years ago. These circles, formed using nearly 400 stalagmites, suggest a higher social organization among Neanderthals than previously believed. The creation of these structures necessitated individuals who could lead, provide guidance, manufacture tools, and construct intricate patterns, all while maintaining a consistent source of light. Upon re-evaluating the evidence from Brunekel Cave near Toulouse in southwestern France, it becomes evident that Neanderthal sophistication exceeded previous expectations. Within one chamber, 336 meters from the cave entrance, intriguing structures, including a 7-meter wide ring, were constructed using snapped stalagmites from the cave floor. Natural limestone growths have partially covered these formations. By dating these growths, a team led by Jacques Joubert at the University of Bordeaux estimated the age of the stalagmite constructions to be around 175,000 years old demonstrating that they predate the arrival of modern humans in Europe. Number 14. Life in Mobile Cave In the Mobile Cave, scientists have identified 53 species of invertebrates, and surprisingly, 37 of these creatures can't be found anywhere else on our planet. This diverse group includes spiders, water scorpions, leeches, and a centipede species that earned the title King of the Cave in a 2020 scientific paper. Its remarkable adaptation to the unusual environment sets life apart in this cave. The majority of these cave-dwelling creatures have no eyes and lack colorful pigmentation. Who needs vibrant colors or functioning eyes when you live in the pitch-black confines of a cave? Like most ecosystems, in the Mobile Cave, creatures sustain themselves by extracting energy from rocks rather than relying on the sun's power. Unlike traditional photosynthesis, this unique ecosystem depends on chemosynthesis. In the absence of sunlight and with limited oxygen, bacteria within the cave oxidize methane and sulfur to create nutrients and microbial mats. These mats serve as a food source for the cave's inhabitants on land and in the cave's waters. The Mobile Cave, unlike any other terrestrial ecosystem, resembles the unique ecosystems found near hydrothermal vents in the alien-like depths of the ocean due to its reliance on chemosynthetic food chain. Number 13. Ghostly Translucent Snails Deep within a mysterious Croatian cave lies a remarkable discovery a tiny snail with a shell that looks like it's made of glass. This special snail, called Zosmium thalossum, was discovered more than half a mile underground in one of the world's 20 deepest cave systems, Lukina Yamatoyama. It's a hidden world of wonder deep beneath the surface. This tiny snail is incredibly small, measuring just one millimeter across. It belongs to a family of snails typically found near cave waterways. Like its Zospium relatives, Zospium thalossum has very poor eyesight and can't move around much, as observed by scientists. In 2010, researchers exploring the cave found only a single living snail of this species in a chamber 0.6 miles deep beneath the Earth's surface. This chamber had a chilly temperature of around 38 degrees Fahrenheit, was extremely humid, and was filled with various stones, rocks, and sand. Researchers began gathering the empty shells of Zospium thalussum snails when they were halfway into the nearly vertical cave. 
What amazed them was that they continued to find these empty shells down to the cave's bottom, a remarkable 0.86 miles below the surface. Number 12. The Longyu Caves Farmers near Xi'an Bacon in Zhejiang Province, China had ponds on their land. They decided to drain these ponds, but what they found beneath the water was a real mystery. When the water was gone, they uncovered five stone caves that were strangely made. This surprising discovery led to the discovery of 19 more caves, making 24 of these carved out spaces. Scholars are still puzzled by where these caves came from and how they were built, but the Longyu Caves are incredibly interesting. Since they were found in 1992, people have taken care of and explored these caves. Remarkably, they're in really good condition even though they've been underwater for centuries. Inside, they found objects that date back to 91 to 48 BCE, when Emperor Xuan of Han ruled. This means the caves are more than 2,000 years old. What's truly puzzling is the lack of historical records mentioning these caves from that era. Some intriguing tales suggest that these caves might have been intentionally created more recently for tourist attractions. It's a mystery that leaves us wondering whether there's more to these ancient underwater chambers than meets the eye. Number 11. The Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient manuscripts found between 1947 and 1956 in 11 caves near Kerbet Qumran on the northwestern shores of the Dead Sea. They're roughly two millennia old, dating from the 3rd century BCE to the 1st century CE. These scrolls were predominantly composed in Hebrew. However, some were written in Aramaic or Greek, primarily written on parchment, with a few exceptions on papyrus. These scrolls cover a wide range of topics and types of writing. Some contain parts of the Hebrew Bible, like the Old Testament, but not all. There are writings from different Jewish groups, legal documents like property papers, and records about marriages and divorces. Most of the scrolls were discovered in fragmentary form, with only a few fully intact. Nevertheless, Scholars have successfully reconstructed approximately 950 different manuscripts of varying lengths from these fragments. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls marked a significant moment in studying ancient Jewish history, offering an unprecedented literary treasure. These findings have greatly expanded our understanding of Jewish society in the land of Israel during the Hellenistic and Roman periods shedding light on the origins of Rabbinical Judaism and early Christianity. Number 10. A 33,000-year-old bird claw The Earth, with its impressive 4.54 billion year history, has a lot of hidden secrets beyond what we typically study in school. One such secret came to light when an extraordinary discovery was made by archaeologists who discovered a colossal bird-like claw that left the world astounded. In 1987, a group of brave adventurers from the New Zealand Speleological Society explored the intricate cave systems nestled within Mount Owen, New Zealand. What they chanced upon was nothing short of extraordinary. They found a claw that appeared to belong to a dinosaur. This find was even more astonishing because the claw still had preserved muscles and skin tissues. It was like a page right out of the ancient past. Subsequently, archaeologists confirmed that this intriguing discovery was, in fact, the foot of an extinct bird known as the moa. These remarkable creatures vanished from our planet approximately 700 to 800 years ago, adding another layer of fascination to the story. Number 9. The Sacrificial Cave in Belize Actun Tunichil Muknal, ATM in Belize, is a captivating ceremonial cave renowned for its wealth of artifacts and historical significance. Inside its depths, one can find unique bloodletting altars once used in sacrificial ceremonies, along with an extensive collection of over 1,400 documented artifacts, including the remains of sacrificial individuals. Archaeological evidence spans approximately 250 to 909 AD, revealing a long history of human utilization. According to the Belize Audubon Society, the ancient Maya regarded this cave as the abode of deities who governed agriculture and rainfall. 
Its name, Agtun Tunichil Mugnal, translates to Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre. The cave has remained preserved since its discovery in 1989. Within its chambers lie the haunting remains of sacrificial victims. In the central chamber, the skeletal remains of seven adults and seven children remain firmly fused to the cave floor, a testament to the passage of centuries. One can find a tragic figure called the Crystal Maiden in another section of the cave. Experts suggest that she met a violent end, likely from being clubbed to death, and her bones have since become encased in calcite crystals. Number 8. Altamura Man a Peculiar discovery emerged in a cave in Altamura, southern Italy. This cave, formed by a sinkhole, harbored an exceptionally well-preserved fossilized human skeleton encased within a solid rock matrix. The remains were adorned with what appears to be cave popcorn, which are small, spot-like formations covering their bones. The formation of this popcorn texture can be readily explained. It occurs when calcite, dissolved in rainwater, gradually accumulates on the surface of the cave floor, or in this case, on the skeletal remains, which happen to include a skull. The popcorn-like formations on the skeleton hinted at the man's unusual fate. He likely fell into a sinkhole, got trapped and perished due to starvation or dehydration, becoming encased in calcite over millennia. Scientists preserved the skeleton in place and confirmed it was a Neanderthal, dating back 128,000 to 187,000 years ago. Further analysis in 2020 revealed he was an adult when he met his end. Number 7. Oldest Human Footprints Researchers found around 400 old human footprints inside Queer Izbuk Cave in Romania's Carpathian Mountains. They thought these footprints belonged to a man, woman, and child who entered the cave through a blocked opening. They estimated the footprints to be about 10,000 to 15,000 years old, based on the presence of cave bear footprints and bones. Back then, people believed cave bears disappeared around the end of the last ice age. Since the discovery, many tourists and cave explorers have visited the cave, putting these ancient footprints at risk of damage. To protect the footprints and learn more about them using modern technology, scientists studied Queer Izbuk Cave again in the summer of 2012. Only about 25% of the human footprints originally found in the cave still exist today. The others have been destroyed. This makes it impossible to confirm some of the initial findings. The footprints don't neatly fit into three different sizes, and it's estimated that there were likely six or seven individuals who left these prints. There are instances where bear prints overlap with human ones, which helps prove their ancient origins. Additionally, carbon-14 dating suggests that the footprints are much older than previously believed. Unfortunately, there aren't enough footprints to measure movement details like stride length, However, scientists have created detailed three-dimensional maps of the footprints, allowing a more precise understanding of how these ancient humans moved within the cave. Number 6. Skull Rack in a Cave Mexican police initially suspected a modern crime scene when they encountered a chilling discovery of about 150 human skulls in a Chiapas cave in 2012. However, subsequent research has clarified that these remains are ancient, dating back to approximately 900 AD to 1200 AD during the pre-Hispanic era. Evidently, these skulls likely belong to victims of sacrificial rituals from that period. Juanita Garcia Godoy, a Mesoamerican scholar, wrote a book titled Digging the Days of the Dead, a reading of Mexico's Dia de Muertos in 1998. In her book, she described how the severed heads of sacrificial victims were pierced through the temples and threaded onto poles, resembling beads on an abacus. The discovery of aligned wooden sticks alongside these skulls further reinforces the existence of a zompantli, as noted by the Chiapas State Attorney General's office during the initial 2012 find. Number 5. Cave of Swimmers the Cave of Swimmers, located in the remote and inaccessible southern part of Egypt's western desert on the Gilf Kabir Plateau, was only discovered by European cartographers in 1926. 
This cave derives its name from the human figures painted on its walls, depicting individuals with contorted limbs resembling swimmers. Over time, it's gained worldwide recognition. In addition to these swimmers, the cave's walls feature depictions of other humans, some adorned and engaged in various activities. A meticulously engraved antelope's hoofprint adds another dimension to this captivating sight. The numerous negative handprints created by the artist blowing pigment onto the rock face over splayed fingers are particularly noteworthy. Much like other rock art, these handprints simultaneously offer a sense of immediacy and an enigmatic quality. Number 4. The Chauvet Cave About some years back, three brave cave explorers found the Chauvet Cave in southern France. They had to move rocks, blocking the entrance to get inside. This cave is about 400 meters long, with large rooms inside. Inside the cave, the floor is covered with very old things like the skulls and bones of cave bears, which used to sleep there in the winter. There are also skulls from an ibex, mountain goat, and two wolves. The cave bears left many scratches on the walls, and you can see their footprints on the ground. Chauvet Cave is important for two reasons. Firstly, it captivates all who enter with the exquisite aesthetic quality of its Paleolithic cave paintings. Secondly, its age is a marvel in itself. With only one exception, cave art paintings have been meticulously dated back to 30,000 to 33,000 years ago, providing an unparalleled glimpse into the distant past. Number 3. Roasted Vegetables Found in a Cave Charred remnants discovered in ashes dating back 170,000 years within a southern African cave represent the earliest evidence of roasted root vegetable consumption. These findings indicate that ancient humans' paleo diet included a significant portion of roasted carbohydrates resembling modern-day potatoes. Lynn Wadley, leading the research team from the University of Witwatersrand in South Africa, believes that early humans maintained a well-balanced diet incorporating carbohydrates and proteins. In 2016, her team stumbled upon numerous fragments of charcoal within an ash layer in the border cave of South Africa, remnants of fires ignited by early human inhabitants. Number 2. Oldest Wine Ever Found in Sicily Researchers have stumbled upon what may be the most ancient wine ever discovered in a captivating cave in Sicily. This unexpected finding challenges the belief that wine only becomes better with age. Italian wines are renowned worldwide for their excellence, owing to a rich history of winemaking spanning thousands of years. A recent discovery suggests that this tradition dates back even further than previously believed. Researchers have identified traces of wine approximately 6,000 years old in a cave in Sicily. Researchers collected organic residue samples from five copper storage jars in a cave on Monte Cronio, situated along Sicily's southwest coast, to uncover this ancient wine. These jars, unearthed in 2012, were dated to the 4th millennium BC. Upon analysis, scientists detected the presence of tartaric acid and its salt, both of which naturally formed during the fermentation of grapes. These findings provide compelling evidence that these ancient jars were used in winemaking. Number 1. Oldest Bow and Arrow Technology An international team of researchers, including scientists from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History, MPISHH in Germany, Griffith University in Australia, and the Department of Archaeology in Sri Lanka, has made a remarkable discovery. They found a collection of exceptionally well-preserved bone arrowheads in the Fahien Lena Cave, deep within the rainforests of Sri Lanka. This discovery signifies the earliest known use of bows and arrows outside Africa. These bone arrowheads, estimated to be approximately 48,000 years old, provide evidence of early hunting practices in the rainforest, likely aimed at capturing challenging prey such as monkeys and squirrels cave discoveries continue to be made. They remind us of the hidden wonders that still await discovery beneath the Earth's surface, inspiring curiosity and fascination for future generations. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.